We usually don't think about spine until it starts hurting. Then the Google search begins, where we learn about slip disc, stenosis, sciatica and get scared. After which, we look for best hacks, miracle therapy and get strapped. But what if I tell you, by simply knowing how spine works, we can be in much better position to take care of it and protect it. So in this video, let's take a deeper dive and learn how exactly spine works and what are the important functions of the spine. Our spine is a complex structure. It is made up of 33 vertebrae which are stacked one above the other. There are 23 intervertebral discs which are present in between this vertebrae. There are 46 facet joints which hold up this vertebrae together. Apart from that, there are two sacroiliac joints which holds the pelvis and the spine together. Most important structure being the spinal cord and 31 pairs of spinal nerves which starts from the spinal cord and goes all across the body. There are six important functions of the spine. First, it gives the structure to the body. Unlike quadrupedal animals, human spine is designed to stand upright and it maintains the natural curves in the cervical, thoracic and lumbosacral region which maintains the center of gravity of the body. Second is flexibility and movements. Due to complex arrangement of intervertebral discs and facet joints, spine has natural flexibility and can undergo variety of movements like bending, twisting and turning with ease. Third, shock absorption. Intervertebral disc has a unique quality of shock absorption. It helps during jumping, bending and high impact activities and protect the vertebral body and most importantly protect spinal cord and spinal nerves. Fourth is protection of spinal cord. Vertebra is specifically designed to have a specific bony canal which gives 360 degree protection to the spinal cord. Fifth function is spine acts as a safe house and a safe passage for spinal nerve. Sixth is support to ribcage and pelvis. The thoracic spine gives support to the ribcage which protects the important vital organs like heart and lungs. Now let's understand how exactly the spine works. Before that, we should know the concept of cone of efficiency. The cone of efficiency is a cone formed between the pelvis and the head. It is very important to maintain the cone of efficiency by attaining a proper posture. This decreases the strain on your spine. It decreases the efforts put by your postural muscles, which increases the efficiency of the body, saves the energy of the body and enhances the mobility. It also prevents the future deformity problems like kyphosis, scoliosis and postural deformities. In most of our day-to-day -day activities like phone scrolling, prolonged sitting or having high screen time, we tend to lose the cone of efficiency. This puts the undue strain or efforts on the muscles which are responsible to maintain the posture, which makes us fatigued or tired. It keeps on developing and then eventually muscles becomes weak and we attain abnormal posture like hunchback, droop shoulders or loss of lumbar arch and we develop lot of stiffness. This stiffness changes the natural curvature of the spine which puts abnormal load on the intervertebral discs and facet joints and increases the wear and tear or spinal degeneration. The intervertebral disc is mainly made up of the collagen ring which is annulus fibrosis and nucleus pulposus which is mainly water and proteoglycan. Due to excessive load bearing on the intervertebral disc, it becomes dehydrated, hard and calcified and sometimes it pops out by breaking the collagen ring which is called as slip disc. The spinal degeneration also affects the facet joints. Facet joints which are covered with capsule and cartilage get destroyed and it becomes arthritic. Eventually, it becomes unstable and causes spondylolisthesis. There is one more important structure which degeneration causes severe problem that is ligamentum flavum. It is a yellow tissue which increases in size and also becomes hard due to excessive wear and tear of the spine. It occupies the spinal canal and causes spinal stenosis. All this problem eventually compresses the nerve and causes 
severe symptoms like sciatica, radiating pain or back pain. So this is how our spine works and degenerates. It is very important to keep our spine healthy by following the cone of efficiency rule by simply maintaining the body posture and following the work ergonomics. Also, it is very important to tackle the daily stress and stiffness along the spine by having a simple 30 minutes routine of stretching and strengthening exercises. Along with that, optimum nutrition, hydration and good rest is important.